Hey guys, it's Dricky Stickman and you're now watching Alte Daily. Um, basically, I'm an artist in general. I'm a graffiti artist. Um, I'm a painter. Anything that has to do with wearable arts or like, you know, defacing stuff. <laughs> That's my steez. So, um, yeah, I've been doing this for about seven years or six years, I guess. You know, basically since like, I don't know, when 2014 or 15, I guess. So, I first I started in school when I was in, you know, in like about uh let's see six or seven years ago so i've just been pushing myself a little you know in nigeria they're very they're very um how do i say i don't say hostile but like you know you just can't go around painting walls and whatever do you feel me so i had to start somewhere i had to start from my clothes or whatever so yeah i started from there and yeah, it's been amazing man i feel like from 2018 to 20 you know 20 I've, it's been real amazing for me you know, I do um, wearable art, so I paint on like denim, I paint on like shirts, I paint on like shoes. So I was just pushing that at that time. It wasn't really prolific in Nigeria, so it was like, I haven't told my brother about it, like, what the fuck are you doing now? You're not, in, you're not in primary school or do you feel me? Why are you painting on your jeans? And they were laughing at me. And so I finally did it, and then I posted it on my Instagram. Do you feel me? I was like, would you guys wear this? And Orange Culture, you know Orange Culture, Orange Nerds, he was like, Bro, I want one, man. How much is it? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Do you feel me? So it started like that. It started like next thing. I started painting Birkins. That was like the peak for me. Birkins cost like what, 14m, 17m or something. And then this lady, she trusted me with her bag. Like she knows I could do this. Do you feel me? That I should run it. And I'm like, okay, fine. And then I did it. Yeah, and it went viral. And that's what blew me up. Do you feel me? was amazing so i looked up people that paint Birkins, and it's george kondo the guy that did kanye west's album i'm like bro and then i got to hermes's page for like the top 100 Birkins. so that's where i went viral for that i was like yo if i could if someone could trust me to do that why can't i trust myself i'm doing this art shit do you feel me um so the thing with wearable art is um there's a way you wash it it's either hand wash or dry clean you can soak it in soap and water do you feel me but it doesn't come off obviously quality will reduce over time there's no how do you feel me but it depends on how you maintain it you treat it like proper art in certain countries they don't they don't wash jeans do you feel me i also do exhibitions once in a while i don't like painting on canvas i feel like it's very bare for me um i love doing installations i could just do like combine a couple of pieces on the wall and do like some 3d perspective art on it yeah be more expressive so it's good for people to see your versatility but at the same time you need to have that signature thing that when they see that ah oh, it's tricky this is tricky do you feel me so those Birkins I paint I want to do like a luxury exhibition have like old bags maybe Chanel's you know Gucci all those things and and then do like do like a an exhibition paint on them like I could paint like a street in Lagos on the bag I did Artex the first year so I'm trying to get back into Artex this year again and then for the graffiti, I want to go to like dilapidated areas, um, like some places in Festa. I'm doing a charity right now. I did one last week. And I'm going back there to, you know, have the school painted, and then I'm going to run some graffiti in the classroom. Painting with spray cans alone, it makes you. It is. It, it's like venting. Do you feel me? Like the process of doing the entire thing is just. I, I want people to experience that. They're seeing that as vandalism here, and I want them to know it's just another form of venting and expressing yourself. The thing with graffiti is you have to have some signature characters that when people see your art they'll know you for. Do you feel me? It could be like a watermelon, it could be like a rasta man, it could be like a caricature, anything. It could be just words. So basically, tagging, you have to be quick. You have to be quick with tagging. So you just write your name wherever and just go. Different fonts. Anybody that fucks with that, they'll probably come online and look for you. Like, who's this tricky guy? So most of my favorite artists, most of them are not graffiti artists. Um, I'm just trying to infuse their type of art into graffiti. I, I love Basquiat. I love George Kondo. Do you feel me? Yeah, with first act, we're trying to get permission. So we'll do like proper 3D art, like those life-size graffiti on some buildings. We don't have those in Nigeria. Do you feel me? And also trying to trying to upgrade our status with the art industry because we are very underrated. Wearable arts and graffiti culture is underrated in the arts industry. Here all we know is just downfalls and 
women carrying their babies, selling pure water. Bro, what is going on now? No, what is happening in Nigeria now? Who is painting it? You feel me? Yeah. The culture has changed, man. It's not just those things. Akida is super calm, man. Super calm. He's he his Nigerianness is still in him. Like it's fully in him. He's down to earth. He's he knows he used to do graffiti, funny truth. He used to do graffiti back in in the UK. So he, he could vibe with me. Do you, do you feel me? He painted a shirt actually. So yeah, super calm. He lets me he gives me that like, creative license. So once you do that with me, if you give me creative license, I'll fuck your shit up, basically. The idea was to do like the skull on this on the cover, on the shirt, and then you know have like no jiggy boys written at the back or um 1 a.m. I'm active, you get there. Just like that, if you go through the work, you see all of them. All we had planned, we didn't go with it again. So it came out madder than we expected, you feel me? So I guess sometimes you just have to vibe on these spots and then boom, it comes to your head. Yeah, that's how it works. It works better that way. It was my first time using spray cans and t-shirts and it was wicked. So I got these spray cans from Artmania. They're like the best art suppliers in Nigeria right now. Shout out them. Um, so I got that. Um, yeah, I started painting. I painted the first year. I actually stenciled. I was meant to stencil, so I don't make mistakes. So I stenciled the first one. It was nice. So the the paint from the spray can started to block the stencil hole. So I was like, bro, we're fucked. We're going to do 25 shirts like this. When I just got to the first fourth shirt, I was like, bro, I can't do this anymore. Let me see how it goes. Let me freestyle one shirt. And then I did the score like, Psst. like whoa, okay, okay. And then I did the second one and I was quick, I was like, bro, I could do this, man, let's do it. So I did the second one, did the third one, until we got to the end and then I now did the back. So I ran Jiggy Boys, Jiggy, blah, 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 blah. And then one of my guys, Benga, he came from, I was like, yo, why don't we have like some of the songs on the album there, like at the back of the show? No two at the same. So that was mad, actually. It was actually crazy. So it came out well. And then I did a pair of shoes for him as well, his Air Force Ones. He was super impressed with the collection that he said, bro, you have to, you have to fuck on my Air Force Ones. And a pair of jeans, first, first, you have to follow your heart, man. Nobody knows but you, do you feel me? Don't follow, or you finally meet your idol and then they're telling you, ah, move to another country or you can't do it here, blah, blah. Follow your heart first, you do get, don't be scared to fail first. Follow your heart and then you see how it goes, do you feel me? There are so many times where I want to give up. But I'm like, just that one moment or just that one DM from somebody. Like, oh, bro, I f*** your heart a lot. Do you feel me? Like, don't ever give up on yourself. That, that's the that's biggest to me, man. That's, that's, that's amazing. Do you feel me? It means you're doing something right. The second thing is, you have to know how to trick the market. Do you feel me? So in Nigeria, they only f*** with you when that one person f*** with you. They only f*** with you when a high up. Let me see a high up. Like a celebrity. Do you feel me? Yeah. So you have to know how to trick the market. Nigeria is the easiest market to trick. That's why everything that we don't need in this country is here. That's why somebody's driving a Porsche on a Hakim Dixon. Do you feel me? So you have to know how to trick the market. That's the second thing. Don't lower your standards for anybody. Do you feel me? If your work costs 250k, if it costs five naira, let it be five naira, not five kobo. Because this person is is blah 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 and he's going to post on his page and you get fine you have followers you're going to get followers but your followers will be more than once in your back account and do you want that for yourself no so don't lower your standards if they f with you for the fact that they love your work bro they'll pay you for it do you feel me you have to know how to scheme and let the thing that's going to be free be worth it do you feel me yeah let it be like you don't lose too much from it so all right man hey you guys it's drinky stick man um i'm with the gang you feel me? It's Ote Daily. We're coming live. You get we're going we're growing the brand. And um yeah, you guys keep watching man, keep watching. These guys are amazing. They're changing the game. You feel me? Gang gang. The alternative network.